Hold up. Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. T-Man here, back with another video, and today I'm playing NHL 16 again, back on the Tampa Bay GM mode, and just to recap what happened last time, we had a terrible start to the season. Um, first, Nesterov was named captain automatically, I don't know how that happened, maybe I accidentally pressed a button or something like that, but anyways, so after that happened, I sent him back down to the AHL, and uh... Yeah, our team hasn't been doing well since because I've noticed after the first game and I sent him down and then we went on a four game losing streak and then we won one game and then we went and lost three games straight again and then we won two and then we lost to Boston in our last game and I was looking at our stats. Our offense wasn't too bad but it was still pretty bad and our defense was just terrible and on top of that Bishop was doing really bad so I'll quickly show you Bishop I mean like our top players are being our top players so if I go to points we got Stamkos, Platt, Hedman 11 and 11 and 12 11 and 12 and 9 and 12 so that's all really good and when it comes to how I always do that when it comes to our goalies not too great he has a 3.450 goals against average and you know what I'm gonna continue to let him start uh, I'm sure he'll find his groove and hopefully uh, I mean we don't need to win the division or anything it'd be nice but we just need to make the playoffs and that's all that really, yeah that's all that really matters so after I finished recording yesterday's or the last video basically I noticed that best lines went back on after I switched the lines up so I'll quickly redo the lines so we got Boyle up there Paquette and one thing I noticed was Paquette wasn't really good defensively and we could definitely uh, trade for a better fourth line center and I did some digging around and I think I found someone and he's only on a one-year deal so it shouldn't affect signing Stamkos so that should be good so when we go to defense we're defense uh, didn't matter too much. Uh, let's go to goalies. Make sure Bishop's in first. Yep. Scratched. We got Nemestnikov. Uh, we have to send him back down. Or we might put him in, in a package to trade for this player I'm talking about. And the player I'm talking about is David Legwand. So he could be a really good fourth line center for us. And if we go down, come on, where are you? Oh, here we go. So he has one year left. He's making three million this year, but we have the cap space to handle that. Uh, do I have to do this every time? Okay, let's see his stats. Come on. So his defensive category is pretty good, 83 defensive awareness, 75 face-offs, uh, shot blocking at 83, and stick checking at 86. He's all around a good player. Um, I don't know what's bringing him down. He looks to be like 83 everywhere except for deking and I guess offensive awareness is the reason why he's an 82, but he'd be a perfect fourth line center for us. He's big, he's strong, he could win face-offs unlike Paquette, so, okay, I have him down, and let's see if we, who they want, obviously they want our prospects, but we're not going to give that up just yet, um, nope, who's this Tamela guy, he's 18, he's projected to be top 9 forward, um, we could afford to give him up, I think. His trade value is way over, though, so. Let's go to centers and see if we could trade um, Paquette. He's 22. Um, anything else we could do? Because I'm pretty sure they're at full capacity for the rosters. Oh, we got two second round picks this year. I didn't realize that. 
I think one of them's from, yeah, this one's from Brett Connolly. Okay, um, is fifth enough? I think so. Let's try this out. Rejected. Could start a deal, but you aren't where you need to be in value offered. Okay, let's move that up to a fourth. Let's try that again. Rejected. Uh, let's give them Dallas' seventh. And yeah, that's it for now. And they accepted. So there we go. I'm sorry, Stamkos. Um, roster moves. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, send him down. And then go to... Why does this keep happening? Options. And there we go. Uh... It's already eight minutes into this video, so let's start simulating again. Come on, win a third game. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Yager for th two thirds. I might have to make this deal if we're all if we're going all in this year. Ooh, but I don't have the cap space, so I don't know what that means. It's league approved, though. I'm gonna decline it for now. Ooh, you know what? Let me think who I have. I have Callahan. I could put Callahan on the third line. Let me let me see this real quick. Two thirds isn't that bad. Sorelli, who's he? He's nobody. Uh, David Brohl, he's. I'm probably not gonna sign him, re-sign him. Um, you know what? Let's do this. We got Yarmir Yager. Wow, did not expect that. Uh, roster moves. Go to edit lines. All right, I am back. I just finished editing. I turned off assistant coach, and this is what our lineup looks like now. I got Palat, Stamkos, Kucherov, followed by Philpila, Johnson, and Yager, Killorn, Boyle, and Callahan, and then Condra, Leguan, and Druen on the fourth line. Um, I know some of you might be like, that. that's not what you have to do. You have to put him on the third line because you want him to grow properly, but I put him on the first power play so hopefully that balances it out uh so i mean he's a better he's a better choice than i think garrison so that's what we'll do and we'll see if it works out um let's see if we could trade i mean not trade if we could finish simulating and then i'll end the video there All right, 22, 11, and five, much better than the first month. And we are in second now. Let's see how our team's doing overall. We are in sixth place in the NHL, so that's a big turnaround. 
goals four per game. That went up a bit. Uh, yeah, we're in the top ten now. Goals against per game. We are... Still down there, but that's because we had an awful start, so I should be pretty happy about 2.579 because I'm pretty sure it was 3.4 something last time. And power play needs to be worked on, I guess, but I just changed that up, so hopefully that shakes things up. And penalty kill our penalty kill has shot up as well, so we're top five now, so that's good. Or top six, I mean. And let's just check our player points. Stamkos is 30, so... And 38, though, so that... Eh, he's doing alright. He has 12 goals. Plot's doing pretty good. Kucherov's doing well. Yager's doing well for him, I guess. Kucherov has 20 points, so that's good. He hasn't been complaining, and... He's been getting the points. Let's see overall in the league and yeah got Jamie Ben with 49 points followed by Tavares then Sagan and then Tarasenko Crosby's up there Okpozo's up there Malkin's up there Patretti Getzlaff Datsuk's up there Patrick Kane and Thomas Placanic I don't know how he's up there but he's up there and oh I almost forgot to check our goalie I'll do that real quick. I want to see who's leading this rookie scoring race. I'm not sure if Druen counts as a rookie. I think he had his full season last year. Or he had his first season last year. Uh, Max Domi's up there. Connor McDavid's 87 overall. Jack Eichel's 85. Gostas be here is or Gostas Bear is 83 overall. He has 14 points. So the usual suspects are in the rookie scoring race, and let me check my goalie real quick. Not in Toronto. That is the rookie goalie. So yeah, see, Bishop has gone down as well in goals against average, so that's good. He's getting his save percentage back, and Vas Vasilevsky's been pretty good for us. 1.580 goals against average, and a 9.47 save percentage, so... He's been carrying when Bishop was slacking, so that's good. All right, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, peace. Played you fast and read you in. No slow recital. You waited for him on the strip. But no arrival. Gave that up for him, but only just to let you down.